You've done so many uh, films that everyone loves. Now you've done a new film um, called Being Charlie. Right, Being and Charlie, and it's the most personal film uh, of anything I've done. I, I worked on it with my son, Nick Reiner, who is one of the screenwriters. Uh, he wrote it about, uh, it's loosely based on his experience, and I'm not, you know, saying th anything we haven't talked about, but he had some struggles from the time he was 15 to 19 with substances, substance abuse, and he was in and out of a number of rehab facilities, and, uh, you know, it was a very tough time, but he met somebody there, and they started writing together, and he started working on an idea about the life in rehab, and he showed it to me, and it was initially a half-hour comedy, and I said, Nick, I think it could go deeper than this. It's funny, but you can go deeper. And eventually, we developed this movie. And was it, it hard to work with your son as a writer? Because directors and writers, um, you know, they should collaborate well together. But the director makes the final call. Yes, Is that there's it, some it, it, some it, stress it, there? Well, it's stress normally in any situation, but the particular situation of the subject matter of this, uh, it was very uh, difficult at times, but. It was the most creative, the most fulfilling experience I've ever had. And what it did, I mean, we didn't go into it to say, okay, there's going to be a catharsis or we're going to, you know, it's going to be a therapeutic experience. But what happened was it forced me to see really what he had been going through. And I knew a lot of it, but I didn't know all of it. And I think it forced him to see what I had experienced and what his mother had experienced. How many years ago did he recover? Well, he's been good now for three years. I mean, he's, he's uh, you know, he's doing great. And, uh, you know, he's writing another thing. Yeah. And, yeah. We have a clip here. Uh, and this is him uh, getting tired of rehab. Okay. Look, man. I just, I can't stay here anymore, okay? This place, it's like a prison. It's not even close. You see these? You think I got these at a tattoo parlor in Hollywood? Be grateful it's 90 days here and not two years in county. But don't worry. If you're not dead, you'll probably end up there anyway. Yeah. And do you think... This experience, you said you understood him in ways that uh, you didn't understand him at the right, time. Right. Um, do you think, how well do you think parents can understand teenagers while they're teenagers? Well, it's tough. It's tough in any situation, even if there isn't, uh, you know, drugs or alcohol involved. It's, kids are going through a rough time. They're trying to get their own identities, trying to make that break from their parents. But what I learned, and it's, we talk about it in the film, is that I was scared, you know, and I, I did what, every, you know, as we say in the film, anybody with a desk and a diploma, I listen to because you don't know what to do. Your first charge as a parent, keep your child safe. And so I wanted to do whatever I could do to keep him safe. And I, what I didn't do was listen to my own gut because ultimately it comes down to your, the parent and the child. You know your child the best. And it's what, what that's was your what instinct? they. What was your instinct? My instinct follow? is to have really try to understand exactly what was causing his problems because it's not the the taking of the the drugs or the alcohol. It's underneath that you have emotional difficulties. This uh, taking of drugs is like self medicating. You're trying to feel better, make yourself feel better. So you have to try to understand what it is that's causing the discomfort and the pain. And in every kid's uh, case, it's different. And the parent's going to know that, or at least understand that better than anybody else, I think. But that's just me, you know? Just me. Well, thank you for sharing that story with the rest of us. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rob, thank you. It's so lovely thank to see you, you again. Yeah. Being Charlie opens on Friday. Friday. The great Rob Reiner, everybody. We'll be right back.